There's just something that draws me about, you know, playing in the mud and getting a little bit dirty. And, um, and I, I guess you, I feel a little bit more at one with the earth because what, basically what I'm doing is I'm manipulating the earth uh, in my own way and, and trying to turn it into art. And I think there's something about, you know, digging my fingers into, into mud and, and trying to form it into something artistic that is real appealing to me. I actually was uh, was visiting a friend, and um, she had a uh, potter's wheel in her basement. And I went down there with it was with some other people, and we were watching her throw some things on the wheel and everything. And I just got very fascinated by it, and thought, "Oh, I'd like to I'd like to learn how to do that." So I signed up for a class at a, at our this was in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, <laughs> at a uh, recreation center there, and, and just started taking uh, lessons on the wheel and you know and it, it was not easy for me at first it was it, you know and I think any most of us who started to learn something on the wheel realize that we struggle at the beginning and I definitely struggled but I was very determined yeah I think um, you know when I, I when I was living in Iowa I didn't have my own studio I just kind of continued to sign up wherever I could to use other people like like when I was at, in, in Iowa City, where the University of Iowa, they had the university had an art center where you could sign up for classes. So I did that. But you know, I, I don't think I really evolved very much. I, I was just so excited to make anything that I, you know, that just just making things out of clay was fascinating for me. I, I was also inspired by Native American designs, and um, a lot of my stuff, for example, has the man in the maze design on it, and then the Zia sun symbol is, is something that, you know, appealed to me. And so I start, started incorporating that into the, uh, a lot of the pots that I made. One, one of the big ones, I make a lot of these bowls that have the man in the maze design, for example. And, um, and so that got exciting. And then I also, went, um, it, when I was with Flying Clayworks, we, we did a lot of Raku firing too. So I got interested in that. And so, um, got built my own raku kiln and so I started making things some raku pieces also you know the thing that was so hard for me at first that there's that sense of balance that you have to have in order to center the pot is um, I don't know if it's always my favorite part but when I when I get that centered so it's very symmetrical and everything, there's something about that that gives me a real sense of accomplishment. And it's so key to everything that, that I have to do afterwards when I throw a pot that, um, that I think that, you know, arriving to that point where I see it nice and symmetrical and formed on my potter's wheel um, is always really, it, it is always an exciting time for me. Lately, I've also, the other thing I've been doing is I've been um, I've got a slab roller in my studio, and so I've making make slabs, and I've started to make different kinds of like a lot of the lamps that I've made lately, and and some of the other things have been um, uh, have been slab made from slabs, and the slabs are kind of interesting because I can put imprints into them, and so that's been a really fun thing to to make a slab, and then. Um, I use things like the bottom of, I've got some Teva sandals that have some kind of cool designs on the back. So I've been pushing them in and, and then I just have some, uh, some square things that, you know, that have designs on them that uh, just can make kind of interesting imprints. So that, that's been real, kind of a creative endeavor in itself is how to arrange that and, and incorporate it into a pot. I think there's something about the desert that, that makes me more connected to earth. And it feels it feels very comfortable for me, and it allows me to sort of maybe release my creative energies more because I I'm in a place that feels comfortable and feels like home to me. And even when I'm outside, I, you know, it's sort of like being in my living room because it you know because you know the cactus is so beautiful and you know and uh, we kind of live in the shadow of these these wonderful Catalina mountains and 
and uh, you know, I, I'm still, you know, will drive around town and look up at the Catalinas and just be in awe that I live in such a beautiful place. I'm a social worker by trade, and so so pottery has always been my secondary thing, and and, um, and so I, I think as a, as a social worker, um, I you know, I definitely am inspired by. I work with teenagers, and there's something about teenagers that. Um, they're kind of at this um, raw place where they're just about ready to blossom. And, you know, you could see that they could go in a lot of different directions, which can be kind of scary, but um, it also can be very exciting um, to, to see people in, in our lives. And I can remember when I was a teenager and was there too, you know, where they aren't quite sure what they're going to do with their lives, but yet, um, but yet there's all these possibilities out there in front of them. And in a way, I think art is a lot like that, too. It's like we, we have these raw materials and we have these seeds of ideas and everything, but um, there's all kinds of possibilities, different directions we can take that. And I think one thing that attracts me to pottery, especially is, I think maybe more so than other art forms, is that there are a lot more, diff there, there's a lot more of a variety of directions we can go with pottery. You know, you think about Raku, you think about pit firing, slab building, you know, people making animals. Um, we have a lot of people I know, you know, aren't so much potters, but they'll, they'll make a piece of pottery and then they'll do this beautiful design on it because they're really good painters and, or, and know how to draw well. And, um, and so that, yeah, I guess the idea that, you know, where you have this raw material and, and all the beautiful things that can come away from it, you know, I see that it, it kind of um, parallels my social work too, with working with young people.